minus 1, 2k, and 21 minus k are consecutive terms of a geometric sequence. We need to find k. Now, I'm just going to write those terms out to begin with. So k minus 1, 2k, 21 minus k. If they are consecutive terms of a geometric sequence, then that means if I take this term and times it by r, the common ratio, it will turn it into that term. And if I take this term, the 2k, and times it by r, um, that will also equal the next term, 21 minus k. So, well, if I can times this by r to get that, then I can divide this by this to get r. So that tells me that if I consider these as a1, a2, and a3, so a2 over a1 is going to be the same as a3 over a2, which means 2k over k minus 1 must be exactly the same as 21 minus k over 2k. So I'm going to cross multiply. So 2k times 2k equals 21 minus k times k minus 1. So 4k squared equals, well, 21 times k is 21k. Um, I'm going to write this down. So 21k um, minus 21 minus k squared. And then you've got minus k times minus 1 is plus k. So that means that if we put everything on the side so it makes it equal zero, I'm going to have to leave the zero on this side to keep my k's positive. So 4k squared plus k squared is 5k squared. Then for your k's, well you've got 21k plus k is 22k, so when I subtract them it will be minus 22k. And then you've got minus 21, I'm going to add 21 to the other side, so plus 21 equals zero. <coughs> Hoping to uh, factorise that. So, hopefully, 5k k equals 0. So, the factors of 21, it's um, not got many factors. It's basically got 3 and 7, or 1 and 21. So, if we have a look at the 3 and 7, they could be sort of that way around, or, or this way around. So, whatever this second here, number is here, it's going to get multiplied by 5. So, 7 fives are 35. 3 fives are 15, and then I'm looking to combine um, the numbers I've just put boxes around, um, combine them to see if I can get a minus 22 out of them. So if these were both negative, uh, minus 7, minus 15 does give me minus 22. So I reckon it was 5k minus 7, k minus 3 equals zero. So that means there's two possible values of k that would make this situation true. So k could equal, well basically 5k minus 7 equals zero or k minus 3 equals zero. So in the first case k would be, well 5k would be 7, so k would be 7 over 5. And in the second case k would be 3. Um, we've just been asked for k. We haven't been asked for the, the sequence itself. It could be a perfectly legitimate follow-up to, um, in, in the two cases of k, it could ask us to list the first few terms of the sequence. It hasn't done in this case. Um, so that's all you need to do.